if I learned one lesson from my time with the CIA, it is this. Everybody believes they are the good guy. I was an officer with the CIA clandestine service and worked undercover on counterterrorism and intelligence all around the world for almost 10 years. The conversation that's going on in the United States right now about ISIS and about the United States overseas is more oversimplified than ever. Ask most Americans whether ISIS poses an existential threat to this country, and they'll say yes. That's where the conversation stops. If you're walking down the street in Iraq or Syria and ask anybody why America dropped bombs, you get, they were waging war on Islam. And you walk in America and you ask, why were we attacked on 9-11? And you get, they hate us because we're free. Those are stories manufactured by a really small number of people on both sides who amass a great deal of power and wealth by convincing the rest of us to keep killing each other. I think the question we need to be asking as Americans examining our foreign policy is whether or not we're pouring kerosene on a candle. The only real way to disarm your enemy is to listen to them. If you hear them out, if you're brave enough to really listen to their story, you can see that more often than not, you might have made some of the same choices if you'd lived their life instead of yours.